One concern of this memorandum of understanding over and above what I will forward to you is that Emirates is now going to enjoy eight frequencies. SAA is giving them more frequencies. Yet we complain that our business is shrinking. I urgently need to know why we want to give more to them and not to claim the same to them over and above code share. We are giving them more. Dr. Tambi, why are we allowing Emirates to fly into the country different destinations instead of getting into ORT only? We keep saying our local routes are not profitable. Yet it is the very executives that open these routes to foreign carriers. We were trying to avert the situation where we then have leasing, leasing lessors where we pay in foreign currencies. We wanted to pay even if those aircraft were bought by, let me just make for argument's sake, one bank in South Africa to buy all the A330 or to receive the whole A330 and then we pay the bank the leasing fee. It was okay because it was a local bank. So ours was to say, can we have a local aircraft leasing company instead of us paying in Ireland? It is not true, my lady, that the Emirates deal was blocked by Dudu. It is not true my lady, that SAA lost monies and billions of rents because we did not approve this. But I can safely say, maybe Nico Bezade and Holt did not get an opportunity to go and shine in, uh, uh, in France to sign in the presence of the world or global leaders in the aviation space. And therefore he comes back, he makes me a scapegoat, not only that, he and Emirates are the ones who contacted Mr. Zuma, but because I was also wrapped into the same fold as a person who is a um, delinquent director that decided not to sign the Emirates deal. I wouldn't say such things, but I would certainly read about them on the media. Uh, at that time, in 2015, my lady, I no longer read any newspapers. But at the time, I would read about some uh, game being loaded in some cargo planes and stuff like that. But it would have been something that is in the public uh, space. But I wouldn't say those things uh, responsibly. Uh, so I can't, I can't say that. But after the whole Paris debacle and my name being dragged into the mud. For a long time. And being made a scapegoat around the losses that are being incurred by not signing this memorandum of understanding, I said, I no longer care what happens thereafter. Here is an approval. The board applied its mind. May I also say this, my lady? If I was set up and signed this against the interdict by the Department of, um, Department of Transport against, against Emirates, and all the questions I had asked on the second to the executives, I was still going to be doomed. <laughs>